What's in a vaccine? How do vaccines work? Are they safe for my children? I'm Diane Summers, and I work with the immunization team here at UNICEF headquarters. We ask parents through social media what were their most common questions. What's the progress on no-needle vaccinations? Like all of you, I'm a parent too. Let's face it, it's never nice watching our children get vaccinated, but the disease is much worse. That little ouch can be a big lifesaver. The good news is that research is underway to develop needle-free vaccines. In the meantime, UNICEF encourages all parents to vaccinate their children with the existing methods. What's in a vaccine? To give your child the antibodies they need to protect them against diseases, the vaccines contain antigens or germs of the diseases, but the germs are weakened or killed, so they don't cause serious illness. Vaccines contain only a tiny fraction of the germs or antigens that babies encounter every day of their lives. The conception that vaccines engender a risk of autism. Has this been proven, and if not, how did this piece of information come about? There is no link between measles, mumps, rubella vaccine and autism. It comes from a now discredited publication back in the 1990s. Isn't that guy on the license? Yeah, you're right. He was struck off the medical register and the article was retracted. The study was later shown to be based on false evidence. Since then, many studies have definitively confirmed that MMR vaccines do not cause autism or increase the risk of autism. I have heard from three doctors so far that vaccines contain mercury. And from what I know, that is a very dangerous and toxic element to be injected in our bodies. How true is that? Some vaccines contain a tiny amount of mercury, which is quickly and naturally eliminated from our bodies. Mercury is used as a preservative and to prevent contamination. There is no scientific evidence that it causes any harm. What symptoms can we expect when our children are vaccinated? What could be an allergic reaction to vaccines? Because I always got a fever. Millions of children safely receive vaccines every year. Vaccines, like any medication, may cause some side effects, like soreness at the site of injection, or fussiness, or a mild fever. Serious reactions are very rare. If your child has any reactions that concern you, call your doctor's office immediately. Well, this question is topical. Why is there a measles outbreak? Is that vaccine not working? The measles vaccine is very effective. However, millions of children around the world are not getting the required two doses of vaccine. I thought measles was eliminated in some places. Measles is highly contagious. If less than 95% of the population is immunized against measles, the disease can still circulate. And this is why we're seeing in countries a comeback of measles, even in countries where the disease was once eliminated. Why isn't there an alternative vaccine schedule for parents who do not want to give as many as seven vaccines in one doctor's visit? Don't worry if babies have to receive more than one vaccination in a visit. Vaccine schedules take into account the ages of children when their immune systems respond the best. Choosing to delay or even skip a vaccination is very risky. It leaves your child and others who are unvaccinated at risk of contracting an infectious disease. Thanks a lot for all your great questions. We at UNICEF believe that every child has the right to be immunized, no matter where they live. Vaccines protect your child against serious diseases, so please, vaccinate your children.